is February 8th, 2017. First thing we're gonna do today, we gotta go to the camera store and see if we can get this thing fixed. As you remember, I dropped that in my soup last night while making soup. After that, we got a whole day planned today. We're gonna go to Barrio Chino, walk around, fly the drone. Yeah. Then we're gonna go downtown to some of the parks and walk around the uh, all the passenger streets. Today's gonna be really fun. We are going to eat some good food. We're gonna be enjoying each other's company. Barrio Chino from up above. How often do you get to see Barrio Chino? from the sky. I don't think I've either. ever seen it from the sky. It's gonna be awesome. We dropped my camera off at the repair shop to see if they could fix it. It'll take at least a few days to see if they even can fix it. Now, obviously today I'm blogging on Dustin's uh, GoPro, but eventually I'm gonna have to get that camera fixed because I won't always be able to use Dustin's GoPro to vlog with. It comes the train. Getting out the drone here. We came over to the uh, train tracks over here. We're like right next to this building. We're not gonna crash this thing, right Dustin? What's the recommended safe distance for taking off here? It's like 10 meters wide. I get to show you guys this like village from the sky. Oh wow, dude. That looks unbelievable. Walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I love walking through this neighborhood. Totally different than the west of uh, Buenos Aires. Another cool thing about uh, Barrio Chino is all the unique statues sitting around on the streets. From town to town, from London to Taiwan, I've been all around. So we were just walking uh, through the neighborhood here and we came up on this thing. What is this thing, Dustin? One of the cool things about this neighborhood, if you like Asian food, some of the best food in the city, sushi place here, so let's go check it out. Around the globe, trying to protect your soul. We are heroes tonight. Sushi time. It's sushi time. We will fly above the sky. We are heroes tonight. Now that we're done with lunch, we decided to come get some uh, coffees here from Starbucks. Hey look, they got my name right. So now we're gonna go and take the train from uh, Barrio Chino and take it all the way downtown to show you guys what traveling on the train is like in Buenos Aires. I tried to like fill myself and drink coffee. This is not a good idea. I'm heading to the train up here ahead now. The trains here are really nice though. Riding on the train, you get to see outside while you ride. <laughs> a lot more people going out of town than there is going into town right now. So some people might actually take the train from out of town into town, then get on a subway to go the rest of the way to work. Because the train. Don't mess it up. Because the train. <laughs> well, I got one chance to get the shot. I better not mess it up. <laughs> Sorry about that. The gimbal batteries died in the middle of a cliff there. Let's do a train tour. is so massive. It's like Grand Central Station in New York. Feel like a dynamite. Ready to explore right up in the sky. I need you to listen. I need you to hear. And don't show. So we just got off the uh, train here at the uh, downtown. This uh, giant clock tower. It kind of looks like Big Blend in London. Oh man, Dustin is flying this right now. So we just left the park with the giant clock tower. Um, you can probably see it behind me here, and now we're entering another park. Now we're at 
another park that's basically right next to the other park, Please General please. San Martin. They like, help fight for the independence for Argentina. We are heroes tonight. We will fly above the sky. We are here. So now that we're done flying the drone around all these cool parks downtown here, See we're about here. to take you guys through one of the most famous pedestrian streets in all of Buenos Aires, Florida. Yeah. We're gonna go to Florida. Caché de Florida in Spanish, I guess it's yeah. called. Caché de Florida. But I'll just pronounce it Florida because I'm from the US and that's how we pronounce Florida. So we are now entering the uh, Florida street or Caché de Florida. The guy in the shop said this entire pedestrian street goes for about 15 blocks. It's all these cool shops and stuff. Everyone comes here to shop. This is like the go to place to go shopping. So our camera guy's uh, phone started ringing in the middle of uh, filming over here. <laughs> <laughs> Battery on the GoPro died. Now I'm uh, vlogging with the Sony. So this is probably zoomed right in my face because I have the, uh, the 35 millimeter here. But we end up coming into this like secret garden area that's got like this uh, like restaurant behind us. <laughs> And now it looks like Dustin's gonna fly the drone around the, uh, this little area too. So you guys are gonna check it out from the air. I have a question for you. <laughs> when was the last time you wore your uh, kitty pasta shirt there? At least six months, I think. At least six months? Maybe a year. Yeah. Ultima cerveza del día, salud! Alright, cheers. Sum up the day in five words. Five words? Five words or less. I hear these day. I think that's the best ending to your video ever. I